Father Mike, you grew hearts. One of the second graders came into my office a couple of days ago and she saw on my desk this planter with all these hearts coming out of it. And with that youthful and childlike joy of life and of welcoming to people, she looked at it and she said, Father Mike, you grew hearts. I chuckled with her and I said, well, you know, actually somebody gave me those hearts, but they're for me to take care of and to share. In a very similar way, what that little girl, the insight of her heart, told me though, helped me remember, is that God has given us his most Holy Spirit, poured out for us through Christ Jesus, so that the heart of God might truly be born in this world. We have to believe that to make the heart of Christ become one with our own. Let the power of the Holy Spirit touch us and pervade the world in which we live. Is there anything better that we could give to those that we cherish but the truth, the belief, the experience that God truly loves them as they are today? That's a beautiful tradition within our Catholic faith. So many of the saints have spoken to us that the person we are today, the person that God sustains in life this very day, God takes great joy in heaven. Mingled with our strengths and our weaknesses, even with our sins, God hopes and calls us to new life. In our belief in that then, we let the love of Christ come from the heart of God into our own to touch those that we love and cherish. That truly is the deepest longing of all hearts. As St. Augustine said, that our hearts are truly not at rest, O Lord, until they rest in you. Are there moments in your life when you feel upset, when you feel that peace has nothing to do with your experience of this very day or this very moment? As importantly, are there people within your life that you cherish husband, wife, family, friends, children, whom you know need the peace of God. In a simple way, what that little girl said to me is what God hopes for us all, that we grow hearts, not hearts in a planter like this one, but that within our earthly heart, that it truly becomes a fleshy heart of love, a love that experiences Christ's presence each and every day in every single moment, in joys or in sorrows, so that those we touch might truly know that God's heart is truly alive in this world. May God bless us all.